So today we're going to take another look at uh, another feature in the embedded whiteboard for the Q series, and we're going to talk about how to leverage search functions to get content that you can use on whiteboard pages. So the way to make that happen is to head over here to this corner of the screen and use that button down there that I know doesn't look very exciting. It's just three dots in a line, but that's our options menu. And we've got all kinds of tools we can that we can work with here, but what we're interested in doing is some search. So I've got two search items. I've got search image and search web. Let's start with search image, uh, which does exactly as it implies. Uh, it gives me a search box up here that allows me to, when I touch it and put a cursor in there, bring up my touch keyboard and enter a search term. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in puppies. And we'll do a search for puppies. And it actually leverages Google image search to then give me puppies. And then we can go ahead and scroll down a little bit and find a puppy. Oh, he's real cute. So let's go ahead and touch him once. It highlights the picture. Then I can hit that little plus button to add it, or I can just grab it and drag it on the screen like that. And then I have a puppy and I can expand him like that and I can do all kinds of stuff. So yes, when you get the image on the screen, then it's an object and you can work with it the way that you would work with any other object on this whiteboard page. So that's one way to make that happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and delete that off the screen. We'll go back to that options menu and go with the other search function, which is search web. And what that's gonna do is, that's actually gonna bring up a regular Google search page in this box here. So I can put a cursor there and then do another search. So I was searching for tigers earlier, so let's just go ahead and do that. I'll search for tigers again. And then I'm gonna go ahead and search for the animal, see results about the animal there. And then again, we can scroll up and down and, and take a look at the search results that it gives us. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use this as the example. And I've got a little screenshot or, or a screen clip button up there. It looks like it has a little camera on it. And when I give that a touch, that gives me this box that I can use. I'm gonna go ahead and position it right there. And I'm gonna drag this, make it a little larger like that. And that's pretty close. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a snapshot by hitting that check. And then it inserts it as an object once again on the whiteboard. So the search functions in the options menu allow you to uh, leverage searches so that you can get content that you can use as objects on a whiteboard page.